Challenges are opportunities to test one's abilities and rise to the next level. Hello everyone and welcome back. An interesting story of Ratan Navel Tata, an Indian industrialist, philanthropist and a former chairman of Tata Sons. He was also chairman of Tata Group from 1990 to 2012 and again as interim chairman from October 2016 through February 2017 and continues to head its charitable trusts. Ratan N. Tata was born on December 28, 1973 in Mumbai, India to Navel and Sono Tata. His parents were wealthy at the time and lived in the lap of luxury. Tata's childhood was full of unrest as his family, although wealthy, was dysfunctional. His parents never saw eye to eye on a number of issues and as the years went by, these frequent disagreements accumulated into a separation. The year Tata turned 10, his family fell apart completely. Tata's parents' divorce left him without a stable environment to grow up in. He was then moved from one relative's home to another until his grandmother came to the rescue. Growing up in the care of his grandmother, Tata never felt completely at ease and always thought of his life when his parents still put up with each other. This feeling of dissatisfaction made him withdraw from social activities, but what Tata lacked in extracurricular activities, he made up in his academic performance. He was studious and constantly outdid his peers in academic performance. He studied at Campion School, Mumbai till 8th class, followed by Cathedral and John Connon School, Mumbai, then at Bishop Cotton School, Shimla. Despite the fact that he frequently switched schools, owing to his movement from one home to another, Tata was focused and maintained his high grades till graduation. When he graduated secondary school, Tata gained admission into Riverdale Country School, New York City. He had never been outside India at the time and the thought of relocating to a faraway America made him nervous. He soon manned up and resolved to face whatever challenges he would encounter in America. College was a roller coaster ride full of a few bumps, but Tata by virtue of staying focused, was able to graduate at the top of his class. Tata wanted more than his basic degree, so he enrolled into Cornell University and obtained a degree in architecture. He also attended Harvard Business School, which afforded him insight into the world of business management. His academic portfolio earned him a place in Tata Sons, his grandfather's company. All was going well with the company as Tata's expertise came in handy towards growing the company and giving it more recognition. Then things took a different turn when the company collapsed during an economic meltdown in 1991. The collapse coincided with the resignation of the chairman of the company and the appointment of Tata as the new chairman. It was such a huge task and Tata was at a loss for how to begin and the stiff resistance his appointment as chairman met at the hands of other company heads. But Tata had always been a focused and resolute man who was adept at taking huge leaps. He therefore braced himself for the task and with determination was able to improve the company situation in such a way that the revenues grew over 40 times and profit over 50. In life, one needs to brace themselves for challenges. Challenges are the test of resilience. Every successful person has at one point or the other made up their minds to take up a task that less successful people are afraid to. This is what distinguishes them from unsuccessful people. Where a successful person sees possibility, 
an unsuccessful person sees overwhelming challenges. Hence, their lack of motivation to succeed. Josh Hinn said, Understand that it is okay to be scared or uncertain. However, right beyond those barriers ultimately lies your dream. People who succeed are humans like everyone else. And they have fears too. But they've learned to look beyond those fears and accomplish their goals. Charles Kettering said, in quotes, No one would have crossed the ocean if he could have gotten off the ship in a storm. End of quote. Sometimes, challenges seem bigger than they really are, and once we stay focused and confront them head-on, we discover that the fears we had were only figments of our imagination. Angelica Montreal said, Challenges are an opportunity to test one's abilities and rise to the next level. Ratan N. Tata was a man who had fears about the unknown but still took huge leaps towards his goals. This became the secret behind his success. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, I hope you enjoyed the video and I do apologize for any name misspelled. If you're new to this channel, feel free to comment. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, do express yourself in the comment section and we'll do our best to make your experience more exciting. We love you.